How's it going, everybody? I'm back in Fallout 4. Um, again, I'm going to be building in Taffington Boathouse. This time, I'm going to show you guys how to repair some of the walls. I mean, this isn't really like... Uh, it's not like the settlement has really got a whole lot of torn down walls and stuff. Except for maybe inside. And the roof is really messed up. But I kind of go ahead and like secure the building a little bit more. Uh, just to make it look... A little bit more scrappy and uh, just resettled and stuff so um, yeah the first thing I'm gonna do is I kind of try to close off the front of the building um, with these tall junk fences and I got out four but I end up switching to end up only using three because I mean it's not that much space and I could do another one on the side but I, I don't I still leave that pretty open and so it's pretty much me just fidgeting with this uh, right here until I get it in a good spot. And then uh, I grab another rug because I place all my rugs down to begin with. And then I go ahead and glitch this one into the other side of the porch area. And what I'm trying to do is make it seem like its own building. And like I said, I was originally I was going to like put all of those down and like close off the front a lot more, but then I decided that there's not really enough space for a third one, so I go ahead and move this over. But I kind of want it to look a little bit more closed off and more defended because um this settlement, I have a hard time like really building in this settlement as I've said before. In my first video, it's kind of hard to build a Taffington Boathouse because there's not a whole lot that you can do. And so, what I wanted to do is kind of give myself more area to build in. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what I'll use all of these areas for. I do have a couple ideas for like original buildings rather than just uh, like rebuilding the house and stuff. There is a type of thing that I want to do here because it's like the perfect place for it um, but we'll see how it goes whenever I get there um, but what I'm doing right now like I said I'm just kind of blocking off the front area to make it look a little bit more secure and stuff and so next I go ahead and I wanted to board up all these windows out front I wanted to board up all the windows and uh, make it look a little bit more secure from the inside and the out because like I said I want this to kind of be uh, a little bit more defended and a little more look like it's uh, a little more settled in and stuff so I go ahead and I'm just blocking off all the windows and stuff to make it look like uh, somebody actually like came here built on the house and stuff to make it look a little bit more uh, defended because like this like I said this settlement's kind of hard to build in but next I'm gonna go ahead and build on this side I'm gonna close off all of these windows and this one's kind of a pain just because the windows are kind of weird lengths it's like not like one wall can actually fit in so I kind of glitch one of the half walls into the other one so that I have enough space and then this next area is a little bit longer so it takes more than one uh, wall to actually fill it in and uh, as you can see like I have to kinda glitch in a half wall into the full wall to actually get it to fill the entire window pane uh, the only problem I have with these side uh, windows is that, or well, this house in general is that it's much taller than a regular wall. So, like, even when you're filling in these gaps and stuff, like, there's always that small gap on the upper portion of the window. And so, there's just this weird gap, like I said, above. And whenever I do my final tour, you'll kind of see it. Uh, but. It still looks alright. It still looks scrappy and stuff. So I go ahead and leave it. I don't try to fill it in because I don't really know what I would use to fill in that small of a space. And like the other side, I did the same thing. I just put two half walls together to make it fit the space. 
And next I go to the other side of the house, and this side is actually really difficult to board up. I wanted to board up all the windows outside of the kitchen, or on the side of the kitchen, uh, but I just kind of start glitching in uh, the half walls. And you'll see in a moment whenever I go inside to look at how it looks from the inside, what I mean when I say that it really doesn't work and that it's really difficult to do. So like, not just because I can't get it to be at the right angle, but these walls are longer than each of the area I put them in. So like, as you can see, I'm trying to like make them fit on each of the three like sides of the uh, window and it really doesn't like fit properly. There's always this weird like crossover of the wooden pieces. So uh, I really didn't want to use this piece either, but I didn't want a bunch of the same textures in one area and it would bother me if I went there and I saw the same textures repeated over and over. And this is what I'm talking about. They're, they're just sticking through the building. There's a, a huge amount of clipping, so I have to move them out a little bit, and they still are a little bit, so I just have to keep moving them out until eventually I get them correct, at least for the most part. And like I said, this is a, it just takes a long time uh, fidgeting with each of the pieces to get them to look correct in the build and not have tons of clipping and texture glitches. And then I go ahead and I continue to build alongside the building, trying to make it look a little bit scrappier. And so I'm going to try to continue alongside the building, like I said. And my biggest problem here is that I noticed that it isn't the right length, uh, but I try to get it to go in anyway, and you'll see, I immediately get bothered by the fact that I just repeated the exact same texture right next to itself, and so I go ahead and pull those out, and uh, also one of the biggest problems I think with building in this kind of area is that it's such a small build area like you don't have a whole lot of space that's like flat like this wood that you can pillar glitch off of or whatever and so I end up using this front area for a majority of the things that I do um, just because there's not a whole lot of pieces that I've built on the front of the building besides those uh, tall junk fences and such but it's just a very difficult build to do. And I'm actually really happy that the building is taller than the regular shack walls because if not, I wouldn't be able to do the pillar glitch inside or fix any of my mistakes inside. Uh, so I guess it's not all that bad. Just it was an issue on the bottom floor when it came to uh, uh, doing the walls on the windows because you can see where it cuts off uh, by the windows and I go ahead and try to give it a little bit more texture by putting this full wall between the two And then I go ahead and move to the other side, and I just use a full shack wall um, to kind of board up these windows. And if you glitch it the right way, only a few of the boards will actually like clip through. Because I really like these shack walls because they're very like 3D. Like you can tell that they have depth. And so if you glitch them through things like that, only a few of the boards will actually clip through and it looks fantastic and so I try to go ahead and do the same thing with this wall on this side where it looks like a, only a few things are clipping through and it works pretty well 
And then uh, with this wall, it's kind of hard because these walls do have a little bit of uh, depth, but for this wall, there's boards that go from the side closest to you to the side farthest from you. So here's a final tour. Um, as you can see, I just tried to make it look a little bit more resettled and boarded up and defended and stuff. Uh, also, stay tuned for some more builds. Um, I have a couple more ideas about what to do with the house. Because um, as you can see, um, like the settlement's not very big, so you don't really have enough room to build other buildings, really. Um, but I have a couple ideas of what to do with the house to kind of make up for that. Uh, also, make sure you check out some of my other videos. And check out some of my other builds. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.